Okay, I've got your out of check workout today. This is mainly core. So we are gonna be using the band and then the deer guard pretty much. So um, let me start you out with wood choppers using the band. Um, we are gonna do 30 seconds each side. So let me get the timer going and let's start. So we're here kind of stable on your body and at the top, you're holding that movement so that your your core is firing to prevent you from turning back. Okay, let's switch over to the other side. Okay, one more and let's go to walking plank. So you're, we're here on the deer guard and I'm gonna go on the high one here. And then you're just transitioning between um, your forearms to your hands. We're just going up and down. And try to make sure um, your kind of your hips aren't like caving in um, we want to kind of be up and stable and if you need to you can just sit here in a plank and if you want this to be a little bit harder you can go on the ground if you have a mat or you can go down on that lower level right there and we are let's see where we're at on time We've got about 10 seconds left And let's go to our next one. So a minute, I'm gonna go to the lower one here. A minute of um, knee to elbows. So you're here again, you're not letting your hips sag, but you're keeping them up. And then we're just engaging your core to bring that knee up. For about 30 more seconds. Then we've got banded standing crunches after this. And you can do knee to opposite elbow to kind of get a little bit different engagement of your core. Okay, and let me switch the band here up to the mirror. Okay, once you got that in, I'm just gonna pull it over and kind of engaging your upper abs, upper core. Okay, we've got about 20 more seconds here. Okay, and let's go into a little stretch here. So I'm just gonna stay here, I guess. Just kind of coming out in a plank position, but then we're actually gonna let our hips sag. I'm gonna go on the elbows. Let your hips sag so that you feel a stretch all through your core.
Okay, and if you need a drink, go ahead and get that. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the band for the wood choppers. Okay, so start out on 30 seconds on this side. Switch to the other side. Okay, got a minute of those. Let's go back to the walking plank. So I'm just, I'll stare at here. So we're here, then you go down onto your elbows. And trying to keep your core engaged the whole time. Good job, two more here. And we're going to knee to elbows. So I'm just gonna stay on the same, I guess same knee to same elbow, but then halfway through I'll switch. Okay, about four more here. Okay, and we'll take our band, put it back up on the mirror. And our standing crunches. seconds here. Okay, and I'm gonna do, um, I guess kind of like a side body or upper body stretch. So, um, kind of get into like a runner's position. And then if you think about kind of twisting back and looking back over your shoulder, and you should feel that right there on the side. We switch on the other side. And then get a drink or whatever you need to. before we start round three. So last round here. Let's 
get our band ready for wood choppers. Okay, let's start with our last round here. One more, and let's switch to the other side. Tell me what you got when you say. Okay, I went a little long, okay. And let's go to walking planks. You'd think by the third round I'd remember what we're doing. I never do. Okay, so we're on our forearms and we're just going back and forth to palms or forearms. Try to let your hips collapse. Okay, we've got about one more, and we're going to go to need the elbows. Halfway through on these guys. One more each side. And let's go for our last round of crunches. Good job, we got about 20 seconds left. Okay. Three more. And let's stretch out. So I'm gonna go back into that seal pose one, to just kind of Stretch your core out. Okay, awesome workout today. <laughs>